Hey guys, what's up? This is Cyclonic here, bringing you guys a little bit of a different uh, tutorial today. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to tell people how I managed to get auto DMs uh, on Twitter, and for the longest time it was something that I had gotten from Twitter business and I couldn't end up fixing it and, and removing it once they discontinued the functionality. So I finally ended up getting onto what's called the Twitter developer API and I managed to code up something that now gives me the freedom to change and delete my um, my auto direct messages at will. So I figured I could put it into a sort of fashion where I can explain to you guys how to do it and also give you guys code where it should be pretty easy for you to um, it should be pretty easy for you to make this happen for yourself. So I have this create DM uh, thing here, but it's gonna be for my personal use. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create your own app for it. So I'm gonna go over here to create an app. App name, I'm just gonna call it DM tutorial, once I can type correctly. All right, application uh, description um, here, um, open source tutorial to people a way to create their own auto DMs all right so that's cool uh, website URL um, I think you can honestly just put something like google.com and it should be okay I mean this I, this stuff doesn't really matter for what we're doing here um, so the none of this stuff um, matters I don't think how this app will be uh, used um, I'm gonna say for business purposes to allow customers to see a welcome message. Uh, when they enter my DMs. And... All right, good. So we got the minimum they wanted, so now I can go ahead and create this. So all of this stuff, cool, great. Um, so now, here is the important part of, um, here's really the important part of the thing. So now we have this app, but none of this stuff really matters. It's this keys and tokens portion that matters. So for this app, you have um, what are called consumer API keys and then an access token and access secret. And when you generate them, um, oh, I should probably, uh, let me let me regenerate them and let them show up here. So they made this new update where it won't show down in that window like it be did before, so you're gonna have to copy and paste these. But these four codes that I showed you guys here, you're gonna need to take those and put them in this Google Collab notebook file that I'm gonna make available to everyone. Um, what you wanna do is make a copy of it for yourself so that you're not, so that multiple people aren't using the same file. So make a copy of this and move this to your own drive. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is, it's in order exactly of the keys that are here. So these top two keys that I'm mousing over in the background, those will go in client key and client secret. And then the access token and access token secret will go into the OAuth key and the OAuth token secret. So now everything else here in this code is set up so that you should be able to use this code just by putting this in. And then to run this, you'll just do a run cell here. Um, then there's three sections to this code that I have um, made. The first is if you have any sort of welcome message for those of you who might already have um, existing ones, you can go ahead and delete any welcome message by clicking here and then you should be able to just press the run cell button and then that way this whole thing will work. Um, it's a lot of code that I don't particularly want to get into to explain but you can look up some of these um, Java slash Python um, things here. Um, the next thing you can do is get a list of your welcome messages. Um, this is useful to see like what your current auto DM is and then let's say you make a DM and don't like it. You can go ahead into this thing and find um, what the ID is for the particular message that you have. And if any of you have been in my DMs recently, you'll notice that this is the exact same one that I have right now. So you'll want to take that ID that you saw at the beginning, um, this 12180 whatever, 
and you're gonna want to you know you that's the one that you want to use to delete up here if you want to then the last one probably the most important one for a lot of you is to set a new welcome message so here in the actual message within quotes is what I actually wanted my what I actually want my message to be and then again you should just be you should just be able to edit this and then hit uh, run cell here and this should work automatically so it will give you a new cell um, what's important to note here is that these responses should be the numbers in these brackets should be what they are for me so a response of 200 which basically means a good response from the server then another 200 response here for this section and then 204 for this and that's when you know it was successful. You can always test it on Twitter if you have a dummy or something. You can just delete DMs with your main and then reopen them and you should see an auto message if you've done it properly or whatever you want it to happen should happen. So hopefully this was um, a, a decent kind of first look at how you would go ahead and make, um, make or delete or just get a list of all your welcome messages. And this way you should be able to create auto DMs pretty easily using this code. I'm going to put this on view only and keep it in the link of the description of this video. But um, if, if you want to go ahead and do this, you would just have to go to file and then save a copy in your drive. And then that one should be editable. Um, and then you just, so I'll, I'll go through the steps again, quick recap, go to Twitter developers. And then in your apps, you want to create an app, go through that process and give them the required information. Then if you go to the details, then you can go here, get your four keys that are important, um, your API key, secret key and all that. And in this order of four is the exact order over here. Then go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Um, replace the message ID if you want to delete one, uh, set a new one if you want to create one and so on and so forth. Um, so that should be it. The um, other big thing is that um, it's important to note that you actually have to get a developer account for this, which isn't the hardest thing. They just ask you a few questions and they give it to you pretty instantly. So um, that's not something that I need to put a tutorial on here, but that's easily accessible online on YouTube if you want to. Um, so with that being said, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments, hit me up on Twitter, and if I need to, I'll drop another video if there's certain things that a lot of people aren't getting. So thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if this helped you out. I can do more stuff like this in the future once I find things. Um, so yeah, peace.